Salam alaikum. My name is Christopher Ferguson and I'm a director at the Government Digital Service. I'm very sorry I can't be with you at the Digital Economy Conference this year. It's going to be a fantastic event uh, and I will miss many of the conversations that I would have had. Unfortunately, my duties here in the UK have meant I'm unable to travel. I would like to thank His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayan, Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi, for his patronage and support for the common vision for the Arab digital economy. I would also like to thank His Highness Sheikh Saif bin Zayed Al Nayan, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of the Interior, for his insights and for steering all efforts to deliver the vision so far. With your permission, I'd like to share a few thoughts on the digital strategy and its importance for the future of the region. There is no question that we're at the foothills of a new journey for the Arab League of States. There are lots of things that could get in the way or prevent progress. And one of them is going to be how success is measured and how the strategy is going to be implemented across the states. We have a saying in the UK that what gets measured is what gets done. So it's very important to choose your metrics carefully. And if I was there with you now, I'd be hoping to discuss this with some of the many digital experts attending the conference. Another challenge is the sequencing of events that need to take place now that the vision has been realized. Across such a large geographic territory and a variety of governments, choosing where to begin is almost as important as choosing how to begin. Again, if I was with you, I'd be looking to discuss this with the experts and the officials who are at the conference to see where the best starting points might be to ensure rapid progress and early success. The UK government, and specifically the Government Digital Service here in London, was very proud to sign a memorandum of understanding with the League of Arab States this summer. We will be the partners in the development and continuing delivery of the strategy over the years ahead. And I look forward to having discussions with all of you about how best to realize the vision that's been set out and that you will be discussing over the course of this conference. A final point for discussion at this conference would be to consider whether or not all the signatories have the correct organizational structure in place to help them deliver and to implement against the vision that the strategy sets out. The United Arab Emirates is one of the top 20 digital governments in the world, according to the latest United Nations survey of digital government. And the UK stands ready as a partner to assist countries who would like to consider the best way to approach implementation.